Have you thought of becoming a data analyst but you just have no idea where to start? Have you wondered what are the necessary skills in order to become an effective data analyst? Hi, my name is Kenwi and I'm a self-taught data analyst. In today's video, we're going to share with you the roadmap that I have personally taken in order to become one. The demand for tech-related job has increased over the years and the same can be said for data-related job. As we all know, data is merely an information. And it's up to the analyst to actually utilize this data to create useful insights that can help in decision making. I understand that this COVID pandemic has hit us really hard, but I would say that the silver lining during this challenging time is that a lot of companies are actually accelerating their digitalization footstep in order to move out of this economic downturn. So things like brick and mortar concepts are no longer viable and more companies are actually shifting their business online. This means that data analytics related jobs are actually on demand since companies actually require us to gather process and also interpret the huge inflow of information. So the next question that often get asked on Reddit and forum is whether do you need a relevant degree in order to get into data analytics? Well, the short answer is no. You see, I graduated with a biotech degree and the only relevant experience I had was during my final year when I actually took on this bioinformatics project. And it's also during this year where I actually picked up my first programming language, which is R. So here's the thing, unlike any science or engineering related job whereby you need to be in the physical lab or environment in order to get a good understanding or experience out of a skill, you can pretty much obtain that same level of experience with just a computer. You don't need to be in a physical lab to do experiment, to do cell culturing, to do a physics experiment in order to actually build up your core skill. You don't have to do that. However, this also means that you have to actually put in the hard work and be consistent and uh, organized. So what I mean is that you need to actually plan out a timetable. You need to dedicate uh, an hour a day, for example, for learning. And over time, this small increment of effort will definitely pay off. So lastly, also you need to build in a solid portfolio. So you need to build up a portfolio that can showcase your knowledge and skill. And this is where I will be actually helping you in that when we actually finish off the tutorial series. So for this channel, we won't be touching on Excel or any data visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI, mainly because we'll be primarily using R and Python for data manipulation and also for the creation of dashboards. So the main reason for that is because I believe R and Python are a much suitable tool for handling large amount of data set. This is something that Excel can't handle or perform well. As for the data visualization tools like or BI and Tableau, they actually require licensing fee. And the free version itself has a lot of restriction. But not to worry. So for our users, those that actually plan to learn R, we will be teaching you how to build dashboard using R Shiny dashboards. And as for Python users, we'll be mainly using Dash, Plotly, and also Flask for deployment. So the first series we will be covering will be SQL. So the first thing we will learn will be database design. So over here, I think that database design is extremely important because if you design a bad database, it's not like something you can change halfway through your project. So once you create that database, you can't change it anymore. That's why database design is actually quite important. So for database design, we'll be learning how to divide data into their respective tables. So how to establish relationships among these tables. As for data manipulation, we'll be learning the select query, create query, delete query, insert query, and also the update query. And I think a lot of uh, tutorials out there fail to focus on uh, is functions. I think functions are actually quite important, uh, especially when you actually we, when we actually move on to the project session where we will be actually using we'll be calling functions for let's say a uh, left join or actually selecting a specific condition. So creating functions in the database itself will actually speed up the process as opposed to actually calling all the data into R and Python and then doing manipulation using R and Python. So moving on, we actually allow our users to pick between Python or R as I'll be covering both languages in this channel. So if you're actually wondering which language should you choose, I will actually strongly suggest you pick up Python mainly because it's a general purpose language. So what do I mean by that? Um, I mean, you can actually use it for as a server-side language, that's number one. Number two, you can use it for web development. And then number three, you can use it for software development. 
I would say R itself is actually quite restricted to just doing data analysis. Although R itself has a very strong dashboard framework called R Shiny Dashboard, which I think is much, much better than the Python's version of Plotly and Dash. So I'm actually using R Shiny Dashboard at my existing company. And I would say that it's actually quite, it took me four months, four, four to five months to actually fully grab the basic. But once you grab the basic, you'll be able to actually do a lot of fun things. So in the long run, if you've planned, you have planned to actually create dashboards, then you can use R Shiny Dashboard. Otherwise, I'll actually stick on to Python. Statistics forms the core component for data analytics. So in this channel, we'll be actually touching on probability distribution, descriptive statistics, and also lastly, hypothesis testing. And I'll be creating a series of exercises to ensure that our users understand the fundamental of the concept before actually moving on to the projects. So lastly, we'll be touching on communication. So I think that communication is actually one of the most important skill to have for data analytics. So here's the thing, you can have the best report, you can have the best charts, you can have the best dashboard that you have created, that you've spent 12 hours creating. But then if you are unable to actually communicate those information to your stakeholders, then they are unable to actually give you that resources that you need. So I've planned to actually put a strong emphasis on building this skill once we finish off our tutorial series. So for our project based series, we will be building this skill. So how do I do it is that I've planned to actually uh, make our users create report after they finish the analysis on how they can actually uh, convince the stakeholder to actually take up their project. Now that we have actually completed the overview of our roadmap, I would like to thank everyone for staying on for so long. So the main purpose of creating this channel was to actually support the Discord server that I've created back then in March this year. So on the server, I actually create weekly exercises for our users to practice their data manipulation skills through uh, exploratory data analysis. And the amount of active users that actually stay on uh, die down very quickly, <laughs> mainly because it's a text-based tutorial. So the thing about text-based tutorial is that um, it's not an effective way to teach, which is why I decided to move on to YouTube to actually teach our users through video. And um, here's my promise to you. Um, I won't be actually monetizing any of this content at all. So there won't be any advertisement, there won't be any sponsorships, there won't be any video that asks you to buy my courses. So everything is free and uh, the support itself is also free. So if you have any question, you can just pop by on Discord and then message me and I'll try my best to answer you during my free time, like during lunchtime or when I'm on the train commuting to work, I can actually answer your questions. So thank you so much for watching the video and I hope to see you soon.